and this is supposed to I don't know what kind of problem it's supposed to solve, but it, it, it's supposed to make you less stressed. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's supposed to do. Anyway, let's watch fucking Lower Decks. That'll put me in a good mood. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, uh-huh. it, it, it can't put you in a worse mood. Oh, well, you know. That's... <laughs> I, I don't know. Okay, I... Yeah. Hey, Scrodrick's here. Yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah. You're you're almost as old as me. Oh, yeah. Man. <laughs> keep keep trying. <laughs> <these days. laughs> That's a morbid thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking some Sans experiment gone wrong since you know that's what we keep watching. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna yeah, I was gonna know. wait till um vomit got here, but <laughs> Oh man <laughs> Yay, I have to jaloja now. Time for tough I don't blame you. So 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 Internet Highway 47 runs it up the flagpole to see who still looks, but no one ever does. I'm Shaggy B, and with me is Draco Funk. Yo, I'm I'm also running up the flagpole and surfing around the edge. That's right. And living in the moment is Scrodrick. Every moment. Every at simultaneously, in fact. Time <laughs> warp ten. That's right. Time has no meaning for this guy. And we are watching Star Trek Lower Decks tonight, uh, Season 2, Episode 7, which, you know, as usual, I don't know what it's called, but Draco Funk does. Tell us all about it. Where pleasant fountains lie. All right. This episode originally aired September 23rd, 2021. Neat. It has an IMDb rating of 8. Oh, okay. Well, oh. that's... So it'll be like a solid six. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, this will this will be a test. This will be a good test because I am in a really shitty mood and I have a headache. And uh, but I liked the last episode of Lower Decks. See, I did not watch. <laughs> yeah, it it was actually my, my thing was not working. Yeah, it's um it it was decent and it 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 barely pissed me off at all. So, so this is the real test. Like I'm, I'm in the frame of mind where I'm predisposed to hate this. Well, <laughs> so um, the let, good news let's is find out. the next, the three episodes after this are all rated higher than this. So, yeah, I mean, this is, this is the moment, you know, put up or shut up lower decks. So we're watching this on paramount all access plus, all access. Is it all access? CBS Plus. No, it's CBS. <laughs> they, We're it's... watching this on Peacock <laughs> 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 because we went to NBC headquarters and stabbed them. And That's right. <laughs> we we recufubulated the energy metrons, and now we have lower decks on Peacock. <laughs> if we re- if we reverse the polarity, then it might switch networks spontaneously. <laughs> I did, uh, stop it. Stop it. Put it all in one place. Let's... Open up your Netflix. <laughs> yeah. Write Netflix a letter. This is going to become like ubiquitous. It's it's like Kleenex. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, the Netflix that you get from Hulu. Yep. I, I might I might split my own throat when I hear somebody say that for the first time. I might well, just be... <laughs> I, won't, uh, I won't record them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> ever have anybody ask you to go make a Xerox this paper? Have I ever? Has anybody I ever mean, asked you that? Yeah, like a lot actually, but not anytime recently. <laughs> um, I am I am among the older people who do my job at or who do jobs similar to mine where I work now. Like I am like the elder generation. <laughs> 
which is really weird because my last job, um, most of the people there were like 15, 20 years older than me. And it was the same kind of job. But uh, yeah, they would say it all the time. Like, oh, I'm going to go Xerox this. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, you know. Yeah. You got a crock pot? Uh, uh, well... I'm not sure if I have a Crock-Pot brand Crock-Pot or not. <laughs> <laughs> I might. I don't even know. Says the guy whose know. email address is Harry Potter Crock-Pot Recipes at gmail.com. <laughs> right. <laughs> Harry Potter Slow Cooker from Hamilton Beach Recipes at gmail. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Now I have to register a new one. <laughs> Harry Potter Instant Pot Recipes, Harry Potter... <laughs> Harry Potter Air Fryer Recipes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. But the best one is Harry Potter Fry Daddy Recipes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's watch Lower Decks. So we open up your CBS... Par- what? <laughs> what? Open up Paramount, CBS Paramount Plus. Netflix. Paramount Plus. Jesus. Why can't they just keep it straight? Paramount Plus. Start ep- get to episode season two, episode seven. With you so far. Hit play. Stop it. Or don't stop. No, no. I said the wrong thing. Hit play. Pause it. And rewind it back to the beginning so you're at zero. Shaggy B is going to give you a five second countdown, and then we'll all be together. That's right. And if you followed all those steps, congratulations. Uh, you deserve a doctorate in engineering. Uh, that's about it. You, what shall was we? wrong with CBS All Access? Why'd they have to go change it? Because you well, didn't have uh, access to everything. I, I think I think there was another like like there was another deal like s- some of the rights to some of Star Trek got resold back to Paramount or something yeah. because that was that was the big thing that that caused um caused a, a whole big ruckus um the reason that like the 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 the, the Star Trek movies that started in two thousand nine were in an alternate universe was because. Somehow, in a bunch of corporate mergers and shakeups and stuff, the the rights to the Star Trek movies were retained by Power- Paramount, but the rights to all of the TV series got sold to CBS. So the franchise was owned by two completely separate entities for like, you know, until last year. That and just then... reminds me that I need to buy the series on DVD. That way, I don't have to hunt it down. I know, and yeah, pay right. For a streaming service to watch it, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> um, but yeah, so that that all went down, and then last year something else happened in the middle of production of all this stuff, and so now it's different. Mm. And I I don't understand it completely, but I know there was a change. Yes. Yeah. So we're not going to change. That's right. I have I've been wearing the same clothes for ten years. I I just took a shower before I got in here <laughs> while wearing the same clothes that you've had on. For <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, actually, this, these boxers are brand new. I bought them. Well, yeah, bought them yesterday. But anyway, never mind my pants. Take yours off so we can start this episode. You guys ready? Oh, uh, pants are coming off right now. All right. Well, this is already there. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Well, this is Star Trek Lower Deck Season 2, Episode 7, whatever it was called. I forgot already. And we're starting it together in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! Planet has eyeballs. They are pretty on point with the music. I'll give them that. They are, yeah. Yeah, the music's been good. It, yeah.
Hmm. Yep. I don't remember who the bird person is. The counselor. Oh, okay. Are we not supposed to notice that that's the same actress as uh, Mariner, as uh, the young Mariner? <laughs> hmm. Her name is Mariner, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you guys remember Loaxana Troy? Yeah. You're from Star Trek? Yeah. What if we just did that again? That'd be good, right? <laughs> I mean, I like most of the Loxana Troy episodes. Even they were they were done well. Like, do you remember the one where like Worf took a mud bath? Yeah. Come on. I mean, yeah. Who doesn't want to watch that? (laughs) (laughs) Uh. I do like that, you know, the ships look a little more mechanical slightly in the future from next gen. Oh. Oh damn. Hmm. Ooh, docking. I know where there's a castle, like, kind of around here. Like, a whole bunch of Nazis bought it because, like, they couldn't find, like, a, you know, a building big enough, like, near a city that would, like, actually sell it to them. Like, an actual, like, Nazi group. Oh, cool. So, So they bought, you know, this place. Uh, 
If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I mean, nothing ever happens in like a routine shuttle mission. Oh, right. Ooh. Oh, they're they're kind of on fire. Oh. Uh, huh. How often huh. do shuttles crash? You suppose they have seat belts? <laughs> <laughs> no. Nope. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> Ow! Ow. Ooh. Well, ought to be enough there to piece together a ship. <laughs> oh, This is a kind of a cool concept, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I'm I'm actually enjoying this. <laughs> yeah. I could see that this actually happening. Yes, me too. Chief Blacksmith. <laughs> <laughs> Bike bracelets on the plasma conduits. <laughs> huh. Oh, Where's that? Albert. Uh oh. Uh oh. That voice is. It's not Jeffrey Combs, is it? Mm. Oh. It is Jeffrey Combs. Yeah.
Hmm. Yeah, the old Starfleet walking through a desert thing. That tree looks like it would be full of water. So, same thing. Yeah, same um, thing. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> love black licorice, okay? What? Eat the crabs. Pretty cool Aurora's there. Oh, man. <laughs> Close enough. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, oh man. <clears throat> Marsh break. We're back. Back.
Well, you did. This is surprisingly dark. Well, Uh, um, I mean, kind of. A Klingon ship? Just remember, kids, never try. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference? Har har har. <laughs> oh no, you're the yeah. blocked by the bard. <laughs> Oh, God. Huh. And I love Jeffrey Combs in anything Star Trek. <laughs>
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And plug me into the... <laughs> it's convenient how the little cubicles are exactly... <laughs> I want to imagine this is what Vomit's doing right now. <laughs> That's exactly what he's doing right now. <laughs> Fighting with the bickering evil supercomputers. That's right. <laughs> he just phasered somebody. Now he's running through a desert with a backpack full of, like, a Linux server. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, well, yeah. Yeah, that didn't piss me off. That was, that was yeah, pretty good. I, I enjoyed that. Yeah, maybe they're hitting their stride. It's it's starting to seem that way. That's two in a row that I've been like, you know, I I enjoyed yeah. I enjoyed Jeffrey Combs because yeah, you know. and, and and like this this is how they should use you know good character actors like Star Trek character actors you know like as you know. Like, 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 it was like, oh, that's fun. It's Jeffrey Combs. It's not like, oh, hey, you remember Wayun? Wayun? I remember Wayun. This is Wayun. Remember Wayun? Like that. Shit. Like, yeah. It's, it's, there's a lot of that going on, and like a little of it's fine, but like every episode, they didn't do it this time. They they did it more subtly. Yeah. Like, yeah. Exactly. You know anybody who you know, knows Star Trek knows Jeffrey Combs because... Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. It was they, like, it was needed... it was a very good brunt, Shran, like, middle point. There. Yeah. I, I really wish there had been an episode where he played three characters at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if only... Well, anyway, join us next time for uh, more Lower Decks and all that jazz. We got three more episodes, right? That's right. Yeah. We'll, we'll get through it. Three more episodes. And join us for our four drink minimum as we make our way through the Marvel Universe. Not, not the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the whole Marvel Universe. That's right. Not just the movies, the other movies also. The multiverse, if you will. The m Marvelous Verse. I think we're going even more beyond the multiverse. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night.